Thank you for tuning in to Summary Judgment, where Austin personal injury attorneys Josh Fogelman and Aaron Von Flatern of FBF Law discuss the ins, outs, and in-betweens of personal injury cases. Hey, Josh. Oh, hey, Aaron. Name all the superpowers right now. Oh, man. Uh, throwing cards that explode. <laughs> Having titanium claws that come out of your hands. The the flying, real. No. Yeah. Okay. Now we're, now we're talking. Electromagnetic radiation. Now we're talking. Uh, flight. Shape-shifting. Dodging bullets. Stopping time. Flight. <laughs> uh, Being what, able to manipulate the ocean. What, <laughs> what, that's good. Thank you. Oh, spider webs out of the arms. So I was... I already had an idea of what the best lawyer superpower would be. Turning blue. But now that you said manipulate the ocean, I'm like, how could I apply Getting big and green and destroying (laughs) everything in your path. Uh, What would, what superpower would you like to use if you, if you were to have one superpower? (laughs) Frankenstein is not a superpower. I was hulking out. Oh, I see. Oh, so in court, you would just hulk all the way out <laughs> and dare dare the judge to call you in contempt. Like, I think, just try it, judge. I think I'd probably be more likely to use it if I had screwed something up and I needed mistrial. I'm going to tell you right now, the best superpower, everyone's thinking that as a lawyer, you're going to say invisibility. Because we're supposed to be sneaky. Yeah. Behind, like we'd get in the jury deliberation oh, exactly room. Exactly, I was going like, to say. Go, go in the judge's chamber. Definitely. We'd get in opposing counsel's conference rooms. And All read, sorts of unethical Read stuff. their documents. Uh, but the best superpower is actually flight. All right. Explain <laughs> to just... me how flight. <laughs> just because at that point, it's like, what does it matter <laughs> if I win or lose this trial? <laughs> I can fly my ass out of here. And go explore the world and do whatever I want all the time. Exactly. That's, I can that's fly. point number one. And people are going to pay me to fly for them. <laughs> exactly. I could fly with a banner behind my legs, advertising. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even have to practice law. It wouldn't even matter. <laughs> so not only that, Josh, but also uh, you'd win every trial, you know, because like you'd fly and the jury would be so impressed. You know, the it's like power of misdirection too. Yeah, right? yeah. It's you like, just hey. <laughs> like levitate. Yeah, while you're making an argument. Yeah, hey, <laughs> hey. wow. Hey, everybody, I understand that opposing counsel's talking over there, but <laughs> notice me <laughs> suspended from the earth. <laughs> oh, I'm losing it. I'm, I'm not On okay. My own volition. <laughs> I'm not okay. Now I'm turning in the air. My feet aren't on the ground, I'm levitating, spinning around. How many times has a law student hit the 15 seconds forward button on our podcast <laughs> so far? Do you think, when is the law going to, when are they going to, are they going to talk about the law? Do you think it was when I was hulking out earlier or when I was <laughs> levitating in the courtroom? I, you know, um, stopping time would be good. That's a good one. Lawyers are always pressed for time. That's a good one. We're late for podcasts. Yeah. We're late for court. Um, you could also stop time. Like you got opposing counsel. They're like reading their argument to the judge and you could stop time and go over there with a Sharpie and like rewrite it or mark it out. Replace the document with something else. That's the one. Yeah. And you could go the ju- after opposing counsel hands the document to the judge, you stop time, you write like, the judge is a dumb dumb on the paper. Oh yeah. You start time back oh, again yeah. and you stand back. Yeah. You just wait for that grenade to explode. Yeah. Also like you could walk up to the judge's bench and write a note to him or her saying, you look very well put together and handsome today. And then like walk. Oh, hang on. Love plaintiff's counsel. Wait. Why, why do you need to stop time to do that? Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> pretty sure you just go do it just go do it judge i need to approach the bench but you don't do that oh by the way law students who are listening that's how you do it (laughs) whether or not you can stop time 
go write the judge a love note. Yeah, there's all sorts of things that you could do with a stoppage of time. Yeah. I mean, in general. Yeah. Uh, what, what superpowers do we already have mm. that we take for granted? Mm. You know, just the ability to legal research. I mean, you're like, no, I don't mm. want to talk about that. I want to talk about looking out. I was thinking about my ability to like throw fireballs out of my hands. Yeah. Should we talk about that? Fireball spider webs. Yeah. You didn't see that about coming. That? I thought that's probably like my best superpower. Your best superpower is uh, saying you're not going to be good at podcasting on a certain topic and then actually making me pee my pants while I'm here <laughs> talking to you. So thank you for that. It's been a great topic. I hope people got as much out of this as they expected. You're welcome. Cheers.